Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to delete a zone from a DSC Power Series Neo security system. Now the DSC Power Series Neo, it's a hardwired panel that um, right out of the box it can only do hardwired zones, but if you add a PowerG transceiver then it will also be able to do wireless zones with wireless PowerG sensors. So uh, depending on the NEO system that you have, um, it will support either 16, 32, 64, or even up to 128 zones. And when you need to open up a zone for, um, for use with a different sensor, or if you need to re-enroll a sensor, then you would want to delete it from programming, and then you can have that zone opened up and available for use with a, a different sensor, or even the same sensor, depending on what your application is. Um, now the process for deleting a zone differs depending on whether this is a wireless zone or a hardwired zone. Um, for a wireless zone, you're actually deleting the sensor's serial number, um, its unique serial number from programming, so that way the sensor can be used with a different system um, and that the system knows that the wireless zone is open. Um, with, a, with a wired uh, sensor, it's a little bit different because um, you're not really enrolling a serial number with the system. You're just setting the zone definition to that of a null zone so that way the system knows that that hardwired zone is not being used and it's available, it's open for use with a different system. Of course, each hardwired zone will have an end-of-line resistor so the zones are closed, so to speak, but you're just changing the zone definition. But uh, today we have our DSC Power Series Neo system here with an alphanumeric keypad. And I'm going to show you the process for both um, the deleting the wireless zone and for clearing the zone definition of a hardwired zone. Now we have a wireless uh, sensor already enrolled with the system, so we're going to go through the process of deleting it. So we're at the main screen of our Neo keypad, and we're going to get into programming by pressing star 8, and then it's going to ask us for our installer code, which ours is at the default of 5555. And then we're going to enter the programming field of 804. And then we're going to enter the subfield of 901. And that's the option for deleting zones. Now we need to enter the three digit zone number of the zone that we want to delete. And they're, they're always expressed in three digits. In our case, the wireless sensor is on zone 9, so that's 009. And remember that will differ depending on what zone number you are using, you're trying to delete from your NEO system. Uh, but you see in our case it displays the serial number for the sensor on the screen and we can confirm that that's the one that we want to delete. So we're going to press the star key to go and delete it. Just like that, it's wiped out the, the sensor from programming. Um, the system no longer acknowledges that sensor, it's been deleted. And you'll see if I select this zone again, I'll get the error tone and it'll say that it doesn't exist. And I'll show that right now by pressing the star button. There we go, we got that, that DSC error tone of that command didn't work because the zone has already been successfully deleted. So we're going to exit out of programming now by repeatedly pressing the pound key. So we're back at the main menu. And that's, that's how you would delete a wireless zone from a DSC Power Series Neo system. But I also want to show you how to clear the zone definition for a hardwired zone. So to do that, we're going to enter into programming, star 8, star 8. Then we're going to enter our default installer code, which again, ours is default 5555. Five, five, five. And then we're going to enter uh, the programming field 001 for zone definitions. And we can scroll to any zone that we want, whether it's wireless or hardwired, but in our case we're working with the wired zones. Um, depending on your NEO system, those would either be zones uh, 001 through 006, or some have two additional onboard zones so it would be 001 through 008. And if you add a, a one or more zone expanders, then that will open up the door for more wired zones. But in our case, we're working with 001 through 008. Um, but let's say we wanted to delete um, zone 5, for instance. Let's, let's just choose that one randomly. We actually only have one wired zone set up with our NEO system, but I, I can show you the principle anyway. Um, so I'm going to press the star key to select this zone. And you see that right now the zone definition is sent to 004 for interior. So if we had a wired sensor set up in with that zone, with zone 5, then it would behave as an interior zone. Um, but let's say we wanted to clear it out so it didn't have anything. We would use the zone definition 000, three zeros for null zone. And you see if I go back to zone 5, um, it's, it's changing the numbers here, but um, let, me, let me back out a little bit. 
and then select zone 5, you'll see that it's a null zone. So that zone's not being recognized on the system. It's an empty zone. We still have the end of line resistor on the zone so that the system knows that it's closed. But as far as the zone definition is, is concerned, this is a null and open zone on the NEO system. And we could set it with whatever we want. But we're fine with that for now. We'll confirm by pressing the star. And then we'll, we'll just exit out. We don't, we don't care if 6 is set to anything. We just want it to set 5. So we'll back out to the main screen by repeatedly pressing the pound key. And we're at the main screen. And that's how you would uh, clear the zone definition for a hardwired zone on the DSC Power Series NEO security system. So today we've covered the deleting a wireless zone from the NEO system and wiping the zone definition for a hardwired zone. Um, if you have any questions about the DSC Power Series NEO system or any of its accessories or about alarm monitoring service in general, uh, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.